We're taking a look at the inside workings of the World Wide Web and the Internet. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're on the former Myrtle Beach Air Force Base at the Fox 43 studio. We're focused on the internet and web and the World Wide Web and web design, trying to demystify what's happening. And we're visiting with Lynn Young, the general manager of Intellistrand. Good morning, Good morning Lynn. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Incredible opportunity to try to break down the internet and the web and, and sure. I know Intellistrand's been a, a leader of that. Mm -hmm. Can we talk real quick about yourself? Are you originally from the area? Um, actually, from a little town inside of uh, Charleston, Walterboro. I grew up there, and um, but I have family ties in the Florence area. Have been here, oh, almost 20 years. Is that um, right? Background is broadcast television, actually. But, in broadcast TV. Mm -hmm. Where had you been uh, in broadcast television? Um, actually, local, the local ABC affiliate here um, was the sales manager there for the last 10 years. I guess I was there and. Um, had some other opportunities, uh, enjoyed it, uh, saw the market grow tremendously. Um, Myrtle Beach, it was um, just a kind of a transformation when we first started. Um, geez, there was, uh, I think uh, the CBS affiliate was about the same way. We had one sales rep and one, one news rep in a hotel room down here. And um, when I left, um, the majority of the sales force and news was down here um, for both affiliates. And, 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 and you see that as well for your team. Yeah, of I mean, course, sure. Um, so it, it, it's a total transformation. Well, as you know, having been at PD for that long, Lynn, the bulk of our viewers are in the PD, and the bulk of the viewers of this show even uh, tend to be in the in, in the Florence area. Right. Robeson, Scotland County, very important part of the market, uh, part sure. of the reason Carolina people so exciting. Intellistrand would be available for anyone, any viewer. Oh, certainly, certainly. Someone um, up in Scotland County as well as in Ori County. Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, Intellistrand has been in business since '94. Um, you know, wow. so we've made it through the dot-com era, and um, uh, we have uh, had some exciting things happen. And uh, IFG evolved into Intellistrand, and uh, uh, that company, part of that company, or Intellistrand, is owned by Ori Telephone, uh, which is a local, a local telephone. Sure, company. the They're largest. Local. Telephone co-op, I think, in America, and one of the yeah. larger telephone providers in America. It, it, you're exactly accurate on that. They, um, by, and there's not even anybody close to them in second place. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. So uh, we were very fortunate to have their resources. And um, with uh, MyrtleBeach.com now, the security issues were big. Uh, we do a, an immense amount of e-commerce on that site now. So exactly. everything is uh, it sits behind Ori Telephone Security System and Conway and. Um, you know, it, it's been a big asset for us. Then when did you join Intellistrand? Joined Intellistrand two years ago, okay. actually this month um, will be two years, and um, had uh, one of the owners of Intellistrand, we had done some business projects together, and um, you know, my, being my background in broadcast TV, it, the web was really exciting to me, and I could see, um, I think broadcasters could see the web and, and, and media really beginning to merge, and um, we had some neat things that uh, I felt uh, Intellistrand had a lot of programming issue, uh, programmers, and they de de uh, have been developing software and some web applications for the beach. Um, you know, I, what I think I brought to the table was sales knowledge, um, promotion knowledge, mm -hmm. and uh, a video background. And, mm -hmm. and we've been able to mesh all that together, and it's been um, quite a good marriage over the last two years. And you came in as general manager. You were hired as GM? Actually, or? I was hired as vice president of sales and marketing mm -hmm. um, and served that role really for most of the first year. Mm -hmm. um, really, it, and mainly because I didn't know a lot of the applications um, that were going on inside of Intellistrand. And it gave me an opportunity um, to focus in on the number one priority, which was to hire a sales force Intellistrand did not have. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we got that in place, um, then uh, I guess it was sometime last year was moved to general manager and right. um, we now have almost 20 employees, um, six salespeople and uh, you know it's uh, we uh, obviously with MyrtleBeach.com which we can talk about in a minute but we also provide the cable TV um, ad insertions for Ori Telephone and uh, we uh, have the web typical web development for web internet pages. Right. Um, we actually have a travel interactive travel agency, um, the software services division as well as um, video production. And you said Intellistrand began in 1994. Its original focus was? Its original focus was to, to, to design web pages for the hotel industry down here 
and not only to design the web pages or websites, I should say, um, but to design a software package that would allow the hotels down here to take online reservations. Mm -hmm. As you know, most of Myrtle Beach is not a corporate, uh, they don't have a lot of corporate hotels, the Hiltons, the Radisons. I mean, there's a few of those here, mm -hmm. um, but the majority of them are owned by private business leaders. They're, most of their locations are in Myrtle Beach, right. so they didn't have the software application to do that. So the first step was to get, get the presence on the web. The second step was actually design the so reservation software so they could actually, uh, a, a web traveler could go to the what XYZ hotel mm -hmm. and book a reservation, get an email confirmation, you key in the credit card number and you're done. Mm. Um, just like you could with the corporate hotels. Right. And right. Um, so we, uh, IFG or IntelliStrand started in that and it wasn't but about six or eight months after that that they had this concept of a portal website for the tourism industry. Mm -hmm. And um, so they brought that up and it, and it evolved to really what MyrtleBeach.com is today, which is a portal website for tourism uh, as the first phase of it. The majority of the hotels and golf courses um, are, and condominiums are on MyrtleBeach.com mm. and uh, with that IntelliRes software. And it allows, the, again, the traveler to you know, they, they type in Myrtle Beach on the browser and they're going to come up to MyrtleBeach.com. And uh, it really, uh, they, they can visit to see what's going on down here. It's divided into different cities and book a hotel reservation confirmation. That, that was the first phase of MyrtleBeach.com. How exciting. To think it is. About it that. truly is. I, we, um, we have an immense opportunity. I mean, Myrtle Beach is the second largest travel destination behind Orlando in the United States. And um, it, it's, uh, uh, it, that gives us a unique opportunity. Um, you know, we're working on some, uh, well, we've had through the, its first year, we've uh, had affiliates or alliances with the North Myrtle Beach Chamber, mm -hmm. the Georgetown CVB, um, uh, 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 one of your or a media outlet in town to actually provide some news and weather information. Right. Um, I've seen know, that. The, WPD, absolutely. Right, I exactly. I, I visited MyrtleBeach.com the other day, and, and I went to a, was it a news page or maybe local right. uh, local activities. PD had a good, there was a good lineup. I'm glad you teamed up with them. It was, and, and the one thing that tourists, we had to have weather information was a key for us. Right. Um, you know, the tourists come into the site, they want to know what the temperature is and what the forecast is. And so they, you know, that's actually on the home page. You can see that. and, and uh, and get a forecast. So Ed Piotrowski will be not only right. popular in the PD right. and, 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 uh, in Myrtle Beach, but all over the world. Exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> I wonder how folks overseas would pronounce, I mean, you know, get, get, get into pronouncing sure. the weather and weather changes and the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. It's um, a, a unique opportunity. And, and, and our, our premise out of the gate was to serve the travel and tourism industry. We'll do probably um, over two million um, user sessions or visits, I should say. Um, from May until December of this year, we're projected to be in the three to four million range next year. Um, we had with the, um, the the visits, and each one of those visits ranged from ten to twelve minutes per visit. Oh, so come on. on that website. So two million visits—that's yeah. amazing. It is amazing. Um, it, you know, it, 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 but by virtue of the fact that MyrtleBeach.com, I mean, people when they want to um, find out information about Myrtle Beach and travel is a big part of the internet. They've gotten savvy enough to know that they can type in Myrtle Beach dot com in the address window and see where it takes them and that's you know it brings us there without any promotion you have to understand this um, we started promoting the site I want to say the end of the summer um, you know we we do intermarket stuff and that's all in market promotion we have it that the, that traffic is coming from out of the market but again by virtue of what it is MyrtleBeach.com there you know, what had they, been at MyrtleBeach.com prior to your beginning to promote it this summer. Had that been a site before, or no? It was simply a um, a URL that self-directed to another site, mm -hmm. and um, it had never been promoted. Mm -hmm. um, but it represented a huge amount of the traffic mm -hmm. on the other portal site, and um, by virtue of what it is, and uh, we have uh, we just basically took that URL and. Um, Started a website. How right. exciting! I want that URL. <laughs> I love that site. Oh my that's, gosh, that's yeah, amazing. That, but uh, you know, we we have been fortunate. You know, we look at it in terms of visits because right. actually those are the people that actually go through the site, and it doesn't record every move they make. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we have those, um, and, and probably will come close to doubling those visits next year, and the, the bigger part of it is that, you know, um, through 2002, those visits, those two million visits. And the use of our um, IntelliRes software translated to a little over $14 million in hotel reservations and golf tee times that were booked through uh, the use of our software and MyrtleBeach.com all put together. So 
Yeah, there's some huge e-commerce going on That's here. That's amazing. And that software again, you said IntelliRest? IntelliRest software, it is a web-based reservation software for the golf industry and hotels so that you can come in and you can book ro hotel rooms or um, golf packages with hotels. And, and actually, um, we're working on, uh, we, we, we provide some tee time software too. So um, very shortly, you will see um, uh, being able to actually book your tee times and those kinds of things, which you can now when you do a package. Mm -hmm. you, you the dates and times, and then if golf's involved, you can say, okay, which golf courses do you want to play, what time do you want to tee off. It actually goes out, pings the golf system, tells you if those tee times are available. Yes, they're available. Boom, puts all the package, so you get your confirmation back. You know exactly when you're playing golf, what courses, and, and give me your credit card number, and you're done. And it's almost immediate. Yeah, well, it is real time. Yeah. It is, and it's yeah. safe. Yeah, it is, and it, um, VeriSign supports a lot of that, and, and it's safe from the standpoint um, from that application, but again, all our uh, the servers and technology sits behind Ori Telephone's firewall, mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a, a big part of it. They, they, I don't know if you've ever been in that uh, facility over there, but it l literally looks like the shot that you see of NASA control mm. when uh, uh, the space shuttle lifts off. That's that's the kind of facility they have over there, and they constantly monitor everything. Um, they, I remember seeing this one little piece of software or screen. And they could see when ping, people were trying to go in around their firewall and come in, they could see those people trying to break into the right? system. So it, it, it's a, a very complicated thing. It's the days that you could just have a computer in your, in your den and host websites, if you're going to do e-commerce, e that's, that's scary. Um, How exciting. So if someone wanted to host, I mean, wanted to have a secure website, right. HTC and IntelliStream would be one of the safest places oh, they sure. could go. That, from, from a security standpoint locally and from... You know, uh, we had to be concerned about hurricanes and storms, so we would locate all that in a hurricane booth, a building back in Conway. So, right. Because MyrtleBeach.com is going to become a media source. Um, it is evolving. We have um, partnerships that we'll be announcing very quickly, or soon, I should say, for locals. So we want to, because it's easy to brand, you know, you'll be able to go to MyrtleBeach.com and get local information. Right. And, and in those times when we have storms and a hurricane comes in, you will very well see MyrtleBeach.com. Um, the headlines will be what, what's going on, the weather, where you should go, and so it'll be an information source um, mm -hmm. for the locals, very much so. Time is flying, Lynn. We've got about a minute, and so I wanted to gauge real quick uh, the difference between websites of today and websites in the, in the near future, juxtaposed against websites in the past. Well, I think the biggest thing that you'll see, um, you'll see much more rich media and video applications applied to the Internet. Um, there's some technologies out there that are being tested in this market today. Um, right now, the cable modems is the fast, or the fastest, or a DSL, which is a little over 256K. These technologies will allow you, that are being tested in Myrtle Beach today, a 4 meg of Internet service. So at that point, you're talking about real-time um, media flow. Those technologies are brought into your home by the twisted pair on your telephone. So those t that, that strand of wire will take the place in, of your cable TV, your your email, your web, and your television, and mm. um, the, the websites, and you'll see we're in some beta tests right now with our new um, uh, uh, version of MyrtleBeach.com. You'll see much more video on that site than mm. in the past, you know, the quality and the moving media. I've got a man on who sounds like a potential competitor to Fox 43, Lynn Young, <laughs> General Manager of Intellistran. Catch him at MyrtleBeach.com, as well as... Um, here in town. Lynn, thanks so much Thank for being with Ray. us this Thank morning. You. Thank you. Stay tuned to more Carolina People coming up next. Good morning. Welcome back to Carolina People. This morning, we're on the former Myrtle Beach Air Force Base at the Fox 43 studio. We're focused on the web, the internet, and the entire demystification of what's happening. And we're visiting with Will McIntosh. Will, thanks so much for being with us this morning. I appreciate the opportunity, Greg. Incredible opportunity to try to break down much of what is confusing at, at some level to so many folks, viewers in particular. Can we talk real quick about yourself? Are you originally from the area? I'm actually originally from Columbus, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta. My family moved to the area in about in 1984, and I grew up in Sherrill, South Carolina. Just graduated from Winthrop University, so I'm fresh out of college, working at Intellistrand. How long have you been at Intellistrand? You just arrived. Yeah, actually, I've been there, been here about seven months now, right. and it's been a tremendous opportunity for me. I'm actually a sales engineer 
at IntelliStrand. So I get the opportunity to serve as, a, as a liaison between the sales force and our production staff there. So I get to work with the, uh, the computer programmers with the more technical stuff, but I'm also out there on the forefront with the sales people. How did you find out about IntelliStrand, Will? I actually found out about the company and the job opportunity through a relative that's in the area. And it was one of those situations where I was just in the right place at the right time. And mm -hmm. it's been a tremendous opportunity for me coming right out of school. Mm -hmm. Had you studied web design while you were at Winthrop or the opportunities to, to be online? My background was more in traditional marketing, but I, d I did have some experience with computer information systems. So the background was there, but I've, I've learned so much, and there's been such a steep learning curve since I've been with IntelliStream. Mm -hmm. And you say computer information systems. What exactly is that? Really what that focused on was some of the more basic programming languages mm -hmm. related to software development. It, really, there's not many programs out there in, at universities in the country that really focus on the kind of things that we work at in, at IntelliStream. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you haven't been in IntelliStream for more than half a year. When you think about web design and some of the changes that have occurred, I think Lynn said IntelliStrand's been around since 1994, so a heck of a long time. Some of those early hotels, they were helping out up to the um, IntelliRes that's going on now. When you think about that, how, how about some of the changes that have happened over the years? Well, for the, mo for the most part, when people were in that initial rush to get their businesses online, mm -hmm. it was more for promotional purposes than anything else. It's your basic information, what the company, what the company is, what they do, uh, and, and it really, the, the focus was just to promote the company itself. And now what we're seeing is a move to more of a, a, a transactional, there's more of a transactional trend mm -hmm. in that it's just as important as what your website looks like and the information is there, what do you intend for the web user to do? Mm -hmm. at your website. Mm -hmm. Whether that be in the form of e-commerce or data transaction, leaving, leaving their email address and other physical information so that you can establish a relationship through your website with the customer. Mm -hmm. Why do you think a small business person would want to have their own website? The internet is really such a ubiquitous information medium. If, uh, I think the number right now is roughly 80 percent of U.S. households have internet access. Mm. So there's really that potential to hit a market that you know you otherwise can't get to with your traditional media. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a small business person, whether they want it for uh, actually having e-commerce uh, or online uh, transactions, or just uh, promoting their brand name, and, and it gives a business a level of credibility, mm -hmm. and it, it also provides another tool as opposed to your traditional marketing uh, programs that it gives, it gives you a more cost-effective way to deliver your products and what your company is about to millions of people nationwide. Give the viewers a feel of what it's like when a small business owner comes through the door to Intellistrand about wanting to try to plan out uh, and, and help design a website. What, what, what happens when a small business owner comes in? Well, there's a, there's a few tangibles that people often overlook when you're, when you're talking about designing a website. The, the first thing that comes through our mind at Intellistrand is what is your URL going to be? What is your web address going to be? Mm -hmm. And you've got so many businesses out there with these convoluted web names that it's just, it's just giving people the opportunity to misspell their, web, their website address and just an, another reason not to get there. Mm -hmm. So we stick with you know, traditional um, promotional premises related to the URL creation. You know, if it's easy to say, easy to spell, easy to read, and easy to remember, it, you know, if it can fit that criteria, then you've got a pretty good URL. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the viewers real quick what a URL is? It, it's just the, it's the actual web address, like at, for Intellistrand, that would be www.intellistrand.com. Okay. The Uniform Resource Locator. It's strange. There's so many acronyms uh, when we think about the web, even www. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to get bogged down in that type of technical language when you're talking about things like this. Mm -hmm. and, and with your small business owners who don't have the, that background, you know, that's where, essentially, for Intellistrand, that's where I come in, mm -hmm. conveying to them the importance of, of these aspects of web design. When you begin conveying some of those important aspects, uh, do you help walk them through the design of their potential website, or, or do, do you uh, more or less just do that on your own? And we, we walk them through it. We try to keep them in as involved as possible because, mm -hmm. obviously, number one priority will be to please them associated with their website. Mm -hmm. a, a couple thing, a couple rules of thumb that we follow, uh, for, the, for the most part, um, about 50% of the web-enabled population out there uses a screen resolution of 800 by 600. Mm -hmm. When I say screen resolution, that's the amount of information that can be 
conveyed over your computer screen at any given time. Mm -hmm. Now, really, that doesn't give us a lot of space to do, you know, the th some of the cooler things that we want to do with the website. So you got to keep in mind. Ideally, what we would like to do is to keep as much information as possible in the initial web browser space. You know, not having, not requiring a web user to have to scroll the page. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The more things they can get to your website from that initial browser space, the more likely they are to view those those components of your website. So you really keep that really vital info in that in that in that simple area, that area you're talking about. When someone comes to MyrtleBeach.com, is there any any part that they have to scroll down to? No, there's really not. There's some with with all websites. You've got the generic copy on the certain home pages where, and, and if people have to scroll for that, there's some things that you can't limit. But with the the great thing about MyrtleBeach.com is that essentially from that home page, you can hit every other page on the site. Right. And ideally, that's how you'd want every website to be. Mm -hmm. Sometimes projects get too complicated, and that and that's not possible. But we try to make our websites as user friendly as possible. Mm -hmm. Are there special features that one would need to consider in designing their site? There's some special features, but it, sometimes it's just more the traditional components as, you know, what is your intent for your website? What's your mm -hmm. goal? Mm -hmm. you know, do you want the person to make an online transaction, or do you want them just to leave enough information for you to follow up with that lead? Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's, a, that's a very good point. It's difficult to know until you know what their goal is. Can you give the viewers an example of one of, even over the last seven months, one of y'all's more complex uh, projects? Well, an ongoing project that we had that Lynn gave reference to when you spoke to him is the IntelRes reservation system. Okay. And currently there's over 40 hotels who are dependent on that system in Myrtle Beach. right, 40. Yeah, and, and after, at about the middle of this year that number will have reached to above 50. Mm -hmm. So when you've created a, a product that that was a, the original intent was to you know, just book rooms online, and it has evolved from that to include packages. You know, through that system now you can book tea times, as Lynn was saying, mm. and uh, to to create one product that serves so many different people and their different needs. That that's been that's been a, that's something we're very pleased with. Mm -hmm. Any other complex projects that you all are involved in? Uh, there's quite a few. Um, we're actually working with a software company out in Phoenix, Arizona right now. Mm. And we're um, they're more of a technical software related company and we're working with them to build an online support section for their website. And and basically what that's going to serve all their customers throughout the United States as far as finding patches and files to update the software that they have. So that's a pretty big project we're working on. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's let's talk about the internet. How is the internet used? I would say primarily more than not the the, the two the two ways it's used most are for for research and communication. Communication through email, through intranets and extranets. Uh, I'm sure a, a lot of our viewing audience is uh, familiar with an instant messenger type program. Mm -hmm. Just different ways you can communicate with people worldwide on the web. And then research, you know, re travel is one of the most researched um, industries on the net. Mm -hmm. And uh, MyrtleBeach.com fits, fits that mold. It's a city portal website. The great thing about MyrtleBeach.com is advertisers on MyrtleBeach.com get to advertise at the point of research. Mm -hmm. So people are there, they're going to be coming to the area, and your information can be there accessible for them. Another thing that we're seeing as far as uses for the Internet, traditionally it related to software. You have your traditional out-of-the-box software, your CDs that you download to your computers. Now a lot of software companies are moving towards web-based applications. Mm -hmm. And basically what this, this will essentially eliminate you from having to download the program to a, a computer and worry about that computer crashing. Basically all you'll need is an internet connection and, and you can access this software from any location. That's amazing. When we think about websites, let's say my website is up and available, what's next? I'm glad you asked that question because a lot of people believe that once they created a website and they get it up, that people are just going to automatically come to it. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that, that would be synonymous with the same opening a physical location and not promoting that location and just ex expecting people to show up. Mm -hmm. uh, a few good ways to promote your website are just to include your URL or web address in all your traditional um, stationery and, and with your other forms of media as far as if you have any cable advertising, if you have any radio advertising, and if you have any print advertising, including that URL in as many places as possible, that really helps to promote your website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead. If there's other ways to promote, please. And then a lot of people get bogged down in the thought of search engine optimization. That's a buzzword going around now. How do I get my website to show up 
high in the search engines. Oh, yeah. And really, if your website is set up by a, a reputable company and they know what they're doing and it's registered with the proper search engines, then, you know, related to the keywords, and keywords are words that you want associated with your website through a search engine search, uh, if, if it's set up in the correct manner, then you should be, your website should be accessible to millions of people out there through search mm -hmm, engines. Mm -hmm. That's good to think about. With all the dot-com failures. I know when Lynn talked about and Telestrans made it through since 94, it's, it's, it's been through a heck of a lot of uh, ups and downs in the business. With all that, how does that affect or how does one go about planning their future online presence? I mean, it, it can be so demoralizing to think about all these gigantic, well-funded companies launching a company and then seeing it sour. I, I agree with you, and I think a lot of the dot-com failures can be attributed to the, to the fact that these people had great ideas in theory, but they didn't follow through with a traditional business model. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you do, the greatest idea you can have, if it's not executed properly, then you're doomed to fail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does MyrtleBeach.com or Intellistrand go about gathering visitor information, someone who comes to visit it? Uh, we use a web statistics software uh, by a company called Deep Metrics. It's live stats. It's an industry standard as far as web statistics are concerned. And uh, the uh, Essentially, what we look at is our visits or user sessions, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you, all, you, for the most part, you hear people talking about hits a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And hits is really irrelevant data because any any web page, any single web page, could register multiple hits. You could have a page with 40 hits because every time a file is loaded on a page, and a file could be a graphic or a frame or anything to do with that page, the hits registered. Mm -hmm. So we look at visits or user sessions, and one visit would actually represent a person who has come to your site. Mm. You heard it. You heard it from Will McIntosh, sales engineer in Intellistran. You can check out much of his work at MyrtleBeach.com. Will, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, Greg. Stay tuned to more Carolina People coming up next. We want to thank Dimensional Marketing, Intellistran, Bear Swamp Lumber Company, the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce, and Burroughs and Chapin for helping us explore the World Wide Web.